Time for the ADP. Let's get over to Steve Leisman. He has the number. Steve. Becky, thanks very much. Down 123,000 ADP, the private payroll company. It's just that private sector employment nationally fell by 123,000, revising up the November number by 3,000, or down 3,000 to 304,000. Taking a look at the uh, uh, breakdown here, good sector uh, down 18,000 and a big decline in the service sector, down 105,000. We'll show you some more detail on that in just a second. Uh, Non-farm payroll estimate for Friday, the consensus is for up 50,000. We'll uh, see later today if that uh, gets revised down a little bit because of this negative number. Looking at it by size, some interesting developments here. Uh, small business down uh, by 13,000. Medium-sized business gaining up 37,000. And the big decline happening in large businesses. And I'm wondering where that came from. We did have a bunch of announced ma mass layoffs in the fall. Um, and I didn't see that necessarily ADP picked that up. This may be some catch up with what happened there, or it could be a new wave of layoffs at large companies of greater than 500 employees. Looking at it by industry, professional business services and education services, they both did well, uh, up 12,000, 8,000 respectively. But manufacturing fell. That's curious to me because the ISM manufacturing comp employment component was up and, and higher and above 50. Trade transport utilities down 50,000. And leisure hospitality, that's the big decline there, down 58,000. Uh, and that could come from, again, the renewed lockdowns <clears throat> across the country, uh, as well as uh, unwillingness of consumers to go to some of these places. Uh, Becky, we had talked about this uh, almost beginning with the weaker November jobs report. And then as the high-frequency data came in, we saw more and more uh, uh, economists and forecasters pointing towards a possibility of a negative number. Uh, for Friday. That is not the consensus, but there are a handful of negative uh, forecasts out there when it comes to the Friday jobs report. Hey, Steve, the, the leisure and hospitality number is a particularly concerning one. And you're right to kind of wonder, is this because of the renewed lockdowns or is this because businesses that had maybe been holding out for a long time finally said, OK, we can't continue to wait uh, keep these people employed while we wait for people to start traveling again. We we did see travel pick up over the holidays. You saw, I think, for several days in a row, more than a million people going through TSA, and that's the first time that had happened for a very long time. But then you think about companies like Disney, uh, where the situation in California made them say that they were going to go ahead and lay off a lot of people who had been working in the parks up to that point. And I, I guess that's the question you wonder, because you figure they had already seen such severe drops in these industries. How much is left to cut? Yeah, uh, it is worth pointing out, though, Becky, they had come back pretty strongly. I don't have the figures in front of me right now, but but you'd had a pretty large uh, when we when we had some of those big gains in employment. Some of that was the uh, leisure hospitality sector coming back. It is worth asking, though, when people traveled, I think they travel very differently. I think they were probably fewer stays at hotels, fewer usage of, of the uh, uh, amenities that a town might have, going to theme parks and that sort of thing. Um, I think people may be traveling, uh, and to the extent that they did travel over the holidays, went right to the family's house or something like that where they were staying, rather than using all, all those mm -hmm. sectors. I think what happened is you had a big bounce back. You also might have had, Becky, some bounce back in anticipation. I was wondering if the uh, announcement of the vaccine had the potential to pull forward some employment. In other words, people are saying, well, hang, hang on, everything's going to get back to normal pretty fast, so I might as well hire some people now. And then either the business didn't show up or uh, uh, the employers got cold feet about that employment. So that could be something. I'm surprised we haven't seen more of that. And, and that gets to a broader question that we're looking into, Becky, which is, you know, the extent to which the uh, expectation out there, which we talked about on Monday, which was these big, GDP growth numbers that are expected in the second and third quarter, uh, how much they're contingent upon the ability to distribute this vaccine and the ability to get down uh, the infection rate uh, and, and to form some sort of herd immunity so that we uh, can get the economy back to normal, whether or not we're on track for that to happen. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.